So we have um, x times e to the y plus y times e to the x. If you guys remember, if we're going to uh, write the equation, we can see that we have two variables, right? So we're going to use implicit Edward. So what we'll do is take d over dx on both sides. And then by taking d over dx of this expression, I'm basically taking it of every term, really. And then you can see in both of these terms, though, I have the product rule, right? So I'm going to have to do the product rule twice um, to go ahead and help me out with this. So therefore, uh, the derivative of x is just going to be 1. Derivative, um, so that's times e to the y plus x. Derivative e to the y is just e to the y dy dx plus derivative over here. Derivative of y is going to be 1 dy dx times e to the x. And then the derivative of, um, of the second one is going to be plus y e to the x equals 0. Now what I can do is I'm going to, again, you want to collect all the dy dx, Carlson. So what I'll do is I will subtract my y e to the x, and I'll subtract my e to the y. And I'll factor out my dy dx. I'm showing, I'm just putting together a couple steps. Is everybody OK with how I got to this portion right here? Is everybody OK with that? That. Is everybody OK with this? If, you, if I, I skipped a couple steps, algebraically, I didn't show step by step. So if, you, if I lost you, let me know. Or if you want me to explain, re-explain. OK. So now we just solve for dy dx. So I just divide by e to the y plus e to the x. And we're doing dy dx is then equal to negative y e to the x minus e to the y all over x e to the y plus e to the x. However, remember, guys, we're writing the equation through a point, 0, 1. So we could say this is our x1, this is our y1, right? But what we need is our, our m. So here's our derivative, which looks really crazy. But again, we want to find the derivative. We want to find this derivative at this given point, 0, 1. So therefore, I, can do, I need to find my derivative um, at, for the given point, 0, comma, 1. So therefore, all I'm simply going to do is plug in 1 in for y and 0 in for x's. I'm sorry, that's 0 e to the 1 plus e to the 0. So remember, ladies and gentlemen, e to the 0 is going to equal 1. So what we end up having is negative 1 minus e all over 1. So I could say my m is equal to a negative 1 minus e. Yes? So now I have my m. I have my x and I have my y. y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. y minus 1 equals m, which is negative 1 minus e, times x minus 0. And obviously, you could further simplify that as you need. Okay.